Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel, the bi-weekly wishlist or washout is when I take a look at all the new makeup releases on Instagram through Trend Mood or Indie Makeup Spotlight, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. I really did want to thank everyone for watching and enjoying Declutter Week. Today is the last day of Declutter Week and the lipstick declutter went up this morning. So this is a double upload because I really wanted to get back on track with the B-Wow because a couple weeks ago I couldn't count and I did this two weeks in a row. So I'm trying to get back into the habit of just doing this every other Wednesday. Before we jump into the new products, some updates. Uh, a palette I mentioned a while ago about actually really wanting and debating whether or not I wanted to place another order for Kylie Cosmetics. I actually went and picked up the Peach Extended Palette because a while ago, I think like last week, the week before, all of the extended palettes were on sale. On sale, free shipping, I couldn't turn it down. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get the Peach Extended Palette. I also got a concealer. So I'm wearing the concealer today as well. And I'm wearing the Peach Extended for the first time on my eyes. And you know what? I gotta say, I love these shades. <laughs> I gotta see how they wear throughout a full day, but nothing gets me than a good peach look. And to match this, I am wearing a lipstick from Dior. It's more of a lip stain, actually. I don't know what it's actually called. What are you called? I'll look it up, but it's also in a peach shade. It looks a little darker on my lips, probably because my original lip color, but don't know if I'll wear it to work, but I, I love this look. It's very cute. So that is an update. I also picked up a couple of other palettes, namely the ColourPop palette. So we'll talk about that when we actually get to the picture within here. Speaking of ColourPop, going back, the first thing that I see going through all of the trend mood pictures is the picture of the California Love Collection. Now, I have to say, this is the first ColourPop, like, neutral palette that got me interested. I don't know, because it's been a while since, I think really the only neutral palette from ColourPop that gets me is, like, the, you could technically call it a Yes Please, a warm neutral palette. Probably that one. But this one, I saw a bunch of pictures of it. I ended up not getting it, so I don't have this palette. But I was actually tempted, and I wasn't 100% sure why. <laughs> because I did just do a huge declutter, and I did get rid of a lot of eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. But this one actually got me interested. That being said, it was just the palette. Nothing else in the collection really did. But, yeah. Makeup Revolution apparently came out with a new collection called the Wild Animal Collection. Looks like it's three eyeshadow palettes and then like some brushes. The only eyeshadow palette that's interesting me, I think, is the... It's ba Okay, so it's basically like a warm neutral palette with a green. Or two greens. And I can't... I don't think I'm gonna buy that. Because they also show swatches. The swatches don't look the greatest. If you've ever used Makeup Revolution shadows, they're ones that you kind of really have to build up and work with. And I don't think I am willing to do that for these. So I'm not gonna pick this up. But it also made me aware of their brushes. I didn't know Makeup Revolution had brushes. So that's different. <laughs> it's different. Jesus. MAC just came out with a new collection with Mary J. Blige. Oh, actually, I don't know if it's a collection or if it's just, like, one lipstick. It just says includes a limited edition nude lipstick. I mean, it looks very pretty. I don't personally think I need any more bullet lipsticks, especially because I just got um, a bullet lipstick because I did do Back to MAC. So I Back to mac and I got a free lipstick. So I do have a new nude, like, cooler toned nude lipstick from MAC and I think it's called Flesh Pot. I'll throw a picture of the one that I picked up here but I think I'm good with bullet lipsticks for a while. I need to bring myself back so I am trying to just actually reach out and start using them more. I don't need to buy anymore. I was just, I got the MAC one because it was free whenever you turned in, you know, your empty products for recycling. So I did get that one. I think it's really cool that they're working with Mary J. Blige on this and I think it's a really cute design, a cute collection, but I don't think I'm going to pick this up. So this isn't totally new anymore, but Trendmid posted a photo of the Uoma, U-O-M-A, makeup display at Ulta. 
and one of the eyeshadow palettes that's been calling to me is I, I call it like the subculture dupe palette where it's got like greens and oranges and there's like a purple in there I kind of really want to try that palette out uh, but I also see their foundation their concealer. I've heard amazing things about their foundation I kind of really want to try it out, but I know with a shade range that huge I would have to go into Ulta and actually like shade swatch and figure out what I would wear so Seeing this display really makes me want to go to my local Ulta's and see if any of them have this because I am very interested in the foundation and in that subculture palette. I really want this, but I didn't want to spend 70 bucks on the whole kit because I know I won't use the whole kit. This is the Wet n Wild and Pac-Man collection. I mentioned this before, but I think, I don't know why they did this. They released the full like PR box on Ulta's website. But you can't buy it individually yet. I don't think you can actually buy it on the Wet n Wild website for at least another week and a half. Um, so they only released the full collection and that's everything. And I know I wouldn't use the full collection. What I really want to get is the lipsticks. I want to try the lipsticks out. The Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suits. And I want to try the eyeshadow palette. The rest of it, the lip scrubs, the the blush palette, the nail polishes, the brushes, I'm not really going to use those. So seem like more collector items. Whereas the ones I know I would actually get use out of are the lipsticks and the eyeshadow palette. So those are all that I want and I didn't want to spend $70 on the whole collection. That's a bit, it's a bit steep. Trend Mood posted a sneak peek of a new Hangover RX setting spray from Too Faced or maybe two of them. Looks like they're coming out with a watermelon one and a peach one. Now, I actually really like that setting spray, but I think it's expensive. I've actually been using a lot of, uh, like, more expensive drugstore setting sprays than I have been reaching for, like, higher-end ones. Like, right now, I have a Wet n Wild one and, like, Mac Fix Plus. And actually, so I picked up a Max Fix Plus when I got my Back to Mac, and I got it 40% off because it was, like, that Cherry Blossom collection one, and those are all on sale. <laughs> so I actually got a Mac Fix Plus for, like, 16 17 bucks and not the usual 20 something so that's really all i have open right now um but i did really like this hangover spray when i had it i definitely wouldn't touch the watermelon one if it smells anywhere near as strong as their dewy foundation not a fan but the peach one i would actually try and it doesn't look like this is a matte one because they also had a matte i think peach setting spray and i don't think that worked that great but this one looks like it's a little bit better so I, I would definitely be willing to try out that peach one smashbox just dropped a new primer and this is their regular photo finish primer but it is now oil and shine control the original cover effects not cover effects uh, wrong brand the original smashbox primer was decent silicone based primer it worked fine but i thought it was a bit expensive for what it actually was and i liked other ones better my go-to's recently have all been from cover effects but i would be interested in this you know because it's summer i got some shine and oils to control because of the, the heat the humidity but i know that their primers are pretty expensive so while I'm interested and I think they released this at a very good time right during the summer I probably won't pick this up because I still have my other cover effects primers to work through again we see another mini zodiac palette from BH cosmetics this is the cancer palette and again they're just blah I feel like they really shouldn't have done these mini palettes I think they should have just put in more time a little bit more development and picked out like a new bigger zodiac palette because the love signs was a decent follow-up i just think it's a bit overkill doing these and no, you know no one's gonna be happy with these people are gonna be like i'm a cancer i don't like this you know you're never gonna please everybody with this so i think it's a bit meh physician's formula came out with a new beauty water okay so i have to look at this and see is this more of a setting spray or is this more like a toner because I was interested if I thought this was a setting spray. Like I said, I've been going more for drugstore setting sprays and whatnot. But if this is supposed to be a toner, I don't think I'd pick it up. But if it's a setting spray, I kind of really want to try it. But also, it is a bit expensive for the drugstore, but 
Physicians Formula is the higher end of the drugstore. But I tried to pick this up. I actually found a, a CVS nearby my work where they said they had low stock of this and they just they didn't have, they didn't even have any of this new display set up yet. So I don't know when that's happening uh, because drugstores around me take forever to release new products. But I actually want to see it in store and see if it's supposed to be a toner or a setting spray. I kind of really want to try it out because it's the matcha. I'm sure the scent is going to be nice. I, I just really want to try that out. All right, and here it is. I know this palette was sneak peek dropped and like broke half of the internet all within 24 hours. This is the ColourPop Uh Huh Honey. It's too early for me to be saying this. I shot a palette and it's another palette in their monochromatic line and this is all yellow. It is all yellow and uh, I, I bought this like at work on my lunch break through my phone. <laughs> because I really wanted this. So I just got the shipping confirmation I think yesterday or the day before. It's taken a bit to get to me but you know what kudos to Colourpop because I forgot that this happens but whenever I pay with Apple Pay it jacks up my shipping address. So I normally get packages sent to my boyfriend's house because they've got they have more room and like packages are less likely to be taken from there. <laughs> So whenever I know I'm getting a couple of packages, I'll send some to his house. So I went the Apple Pay to send to his house and it messed up the zip code and the address. And I was like, oh my God, Apple Pay, why are you doing this to me? So I emailed ColourPop and they actually got back to me within a day and said, oh, we fixed the address. You're all set. We'll send you a shipping confirmation. And I was like, oh, thank God. Because I've actually had that happen once where the, the address messed up, but they actually shipped it before they could correct it. So I ended up getting shipped to a wrong address, returned to ColourPop, I got a refund, and then I had to rebuy the thing. So it worked out a lot better this time. I know I don't talk about yellow eyeshadow as much as like green eyeshadow on my channel, but I just love the way it looks. And the rest of my family doesn't really. <laughs> I have one of my favorite like makeup looks that I took a picture of for Instagram. I'll throw it right here. It's just this very yellow, very just like, ah, I don't know. I can't explain it. The caption was kind of hilarious. It's like my favorite makeup look is like jaundiced 16th century teenager or something. I love that makeup look and my entire family hated it. <laughs> but I do love yellow eyeshadow. It's just you really don't get a whole lot of chances to wear like a monochromatic yellow like that and I'm excited for this opportunity with the color pop palette so uh let me know if you guys want to see the same thing I did with the green a color pop palette if you want to see like my first impression and like do a look with it um and then maybe I can do like a full video with this and the green palette because I think yellow and green will look really pretty together so let me know down below what you guys want to see because this palette should be here hopefully you know around the fourth hopefully fingers crossed Elf is coming out with a new skincare line, and this is the Jelly Pop line, and it's watermelon infused, and I don't want to touch this. I've tried a few Color Pop, not Color Pop, oh, oops. I've tried a few Elf skincare products, and they're not really the best. I think the only ones that I've tried that I've actually liked have been, like, the masks, and they have like sheet masks that are pretty decent. Yeah, so masks overall, I think are what they did pretty decently, but the rest of their products, I tried a cleanser, I tried a moisturizer, and then the, they just didn't really work well for me and my skin. So I wouldn't touch this, but if they were to come out with like, a, um, like another sheet mask, I actually have a couple of e.l.f. sheet masks in my sheet mask collection. I've been trying to use a sheet mask at least like every other day after I do my skincare. So I would do that, but I wouldn't go for any of these skincare products. Speaking of skincare, I know I talked a lot about how I love this um, CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum, which is what I use to dupe the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Oil that I used to love. So I've been using that product a lot and when I went to repurchase it the other day, I saw that CeraVe came out with a new vitamin C serum and it's basically the same product. It's got different packaging, but they're around the same price as the night cream. And I was so excited because the skin or the vitamin C serum that I used to love and pick up at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, I think is finally like they're out. It's been discontinued. I used to also buy it from the Bad Habit app, which no longer exists. <laughs> So I've been out of a nice vitamin C for a long time and I saw it in my skin. It was a bit duller than usual. 
So I found the vitamin C and I was so excited. So I just started using it. I am planning an upcoming like skincare routine and review video coming up soon. Not too soon because I really want to thoroughly test these new products I'm testing out. But that is going to be coming and I think I'm going to do everything in one video. So I do like my morning routine, my night routine, and then like a review of the newer products that I'm using and some new tools too. So that is coming up, but I was so excited to see that they came out with a vitamin C serum. I was like, yes, perfect. Iconic London came out with a new product called the Brow Silk, which was inspired by the old Hollywood trick of using soap to set your brows in place. This is $28, which is like, mm. if anything, this kind of wanted me to try using soap on my brows. <laughs> I have very unruly thick brows and my hair it does curl a little bit towards the end so I have trouble getting a nice sharp line sometimes because my hair just wants to go <laughs> so my favorite brow gels are ones that people might not like them because they do get a little bit crunchy but they hold my brows in place like the the ABH is one of my favorites because it gets me a little bit crunchy but it holds everything in place so I saw this I'm like I'm not gonna buy that product for that much money but I will try soap. <laughs> so this kind of got me interested just in trying out that that old Hollywood trick. So maybe I'll be using soap. I don't know. I haven't tried it out yet. But thank you to this product for just opening my eyes a, a bit. <laughs> so this is a new palette from Milani. This is called the Gilded Ember Hyper Pigmented Face and Eyeshadow Palette. So it looks like we have nine eyeshadows here and then... I think those are just highlights. Yeah, two highlighters and nine eyeshadows. I like that it's a bit different. I like that they're going a bit bigger and incorporating face palette elements into this. I like that there's a big mirror. It is just a warm neutral palette, but I do love their new eyeshadow palette formula. I have one of their uh, bigger eyeshadow palettes that are newer and I love that. So I was looking for a new palette to get and this one's tempting me. They do bring a little bit of color into this one, which I appreciate, so I really want to see this in store. I mean, again, I keep saying that, and I live in an area where my drugstores kind of suck, <laughs> but I, I want to see this, because eventually they did have those new palettes come to my drugstore, so I want to see this in person and pick it up, because I don't want to, I don't like placing online orders directly with brands unless I'm doing a big order. If I can pick this up at my usual CVS and use my extra bucks and get my coupons, I will. So I am going to hold on and see if I see it there. Stila is coming out with a new line of liquid shadows. Now, I love the Stila Glitter and Glows. I have like seven of them. I actually just went and do, during my declutter, I swatched all of them to make sure that they weren't dried out. Thankfully, none of them were because I still like using them and like going back to them. But this new line, these are matte liquid shadows. I don't think I would ever want a liquid eyeshadow that ends up being matte. I'm not exactly sure how you would use this, really, to be honest. So I would actually look up videos on YouTube about how people use these, because I don't know. Can you apply them and then blend them out before they dry? Or do you apply them like the glitter ones and just leave them? I don't know. I don't know. But I love the glitter ones. It's an amazing formula. I'd recommend picking up the minis if you can. But I don't know what I would do with a matte one. Last but not least, to round out this video, let's talk about the new Kylie Summer Palette. This palette is a warm neutral palette. There's two shimmers in here that make you think, oh, this looks interesting. It's that purple and that green. If you color up, color up, if you cover up that purple and that green shade in the bottom left and the bottom right corners, you basically got this palette. <laughs> so I'm not gonna pick this up. I don't think I'm gonna get anything from the Summer Collection. But I would recommend if you have any interest in the color stories of the other Kylie palettes, I know at Ulta, I don't know if the sale is still going on, but Ulta did put all of her nine pan palettes like on sale. And there's some of them that I would highly recommend, like the Blue Honey palette. I thought that was amazing. They're good quality, but I think that they get very repetitive very fast. So really the only ones that I have left right now are the Blue Honey, the Halloween palette, and the Peach palette. Because once you kind of have one of each color-ish story, you kind of have all of them. Especially with these uh, like holiday releases or with the season releases. They're basically just repackaged versions of whatever's part of her permanent collection. So you're really not missing anything out. 
no need for FOMO here. <laughs> So that is everything for this edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. Let me know down below what you guys think of these products if you're going to be picking any of them up. And also, I am currently in the process of purchasing black lipsticks for the upcoming volume two of the best and worst black lipsticks video. I already had the black lipstick from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics and I just recently picked up the black lipstick from Ofra and the black lipstick from matte. These are both liquid lipsticks. That's the matte, I believe it's the retro matte black lipstick. And then I have the Ofra in the Bronx is what the shade is called. So those are all that I have so far testing out for the new black lipstick video. I'm hoping to also get some bullet lipsticks, namely the Marc Jacobs right over here. I'm gonna wait until after the next pay to get that one though, because it's closer to like 30 bucks. So let me know if there's any black lipsticks I did not include in my first black lipstick video, which I will link up above, and you wanna see me test them out for the new video, let me know, because I'm starting to purchase them, because I do wanna get that video up. I think it'd be perfect to have it up end of September, early October. So that's what I'm planning. I wanna get all the per lipsticks purchased now. I'm trying to get around 10 lipsticks. So I already got three, I need seven more. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.